When you see a, a mother or a father walk into a community center and break down into tears because you're giving them something to help their child get an education, that's like, it just goes to the heart. These are folks that, that barely have televisions and they're doing everything they can to get access for their kids to get an education and they come in breaking down into tears for what, what you've been able to provide. That means everything. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Add it up. A lot of what we try to accomplish is again, it's building community to make life better. Um, it's using technology um, in support of other departments and their mission to make the community better. Uh, it's also to help our uh, internal departments as well as the community uh, leverage technology in ways to create better efficiency as well as um, bring the community together. So my name is Michael Sherwood. I am the uh, Chief Innovation Officer for the City of Las Vegas. Uh, I've been here five years. I uh, really enjoy um, being here in the Las Vegas community and helping make Las Vegas a better place. Yeah, well, from a personal perspective, I recognize that there's a lot of families and, and students within the school district that don't have connectivity at their homes. It's kind of surprising to find the, the statistic that's pretty significant on the number of families that do not have internet connectivity at their homes, yet they're still trying to go to school. Through the pandemic, they've been trying to go to school remotely, which is a very difficult task when you don't have internet connectivity or ability to get back to your school network to do your homework. My name is Chris Craig. I'm the Deputy Information Technologies Director for the city. I'm responsible for all the operational management of IT. So that covers project management office, application development, um, software, hardware, um, servers, desktop support, etc. We're really excited to be partnered with Vicells and, and other partners that are helping us build out what we believe is a next generation wireless network. Um, we're harnessing the power of CBRS to really link together um, our educational institutions, um, as well as other community assets um, and really bringing people together. So what we've been doing just recently um, is linking our educational institutions uh, through uh, CBRS or through wireless technology to the school. So during the pandemic, um, obviously our schools were closed. Um, there was a lot of concern about how we could keep education going. Um, we reached out to the Bicells team. They worked with us and our consultants. We devised a solution. Uh, we deployed a small pilot um, to really connect uh, students to the classroom. Um, and it's really been successful. Our, our students have been able to stay connected, uh, continue their education process. And it doesn't just end when the pandemic um, subsides or ends. This is a long-term solution that's really gonna propel our community um, into all new levels that we've never seen before. There's lots of use cases. Uh, the one that we've focused on is remote learning. So working with the city uh, to provide free internet to students that might not otherwise have access. Uh, we're also looking at college level and having college students connect. So there's, there's a lot of uh, potential there in the education sector. And, and part of what we're focused on there, and this is really part of our mission at Terranet, is uh, helping close the digital divide. My name is Bart Bonardena. I'm with Terranet Communications, where I'm the managing partner. Uh, well, the, the best example is what we're doing right now in Las Vegas, where we have worked with the city, manage and operate small private networks to set up a network that uses the latest technology to provide wireless coverage for various use cases. The, the first and most exciting use case is right here in Las Vegas where you know, we have been pleased to partner with, with Bicells and with other channel partners to be developing what we are told is the largest municipal wireless network in the country. Uh, Mike Kerr, I am a managing member along with Bart Van Ardana of uh, the company, one of the founding members, and we build private networks. Um, we have a diverse client base, 
and we are building both LTE and 5G uh, private wireless networks. Uh, so municipalities is, is one of the, the verticals that we're focusing on. Um, it's a little easier for them to understand uh, some of the application technology that makes sense in a smart city context. Uh, the challenge for a lot of them is that they've got constrained budgets. So, you know, with the new infrastructure bill that is being proposed by the president, it looks like some of those funding options may widen substantially. So we're very excited about the idea of having, you know, significant resources available for, for broadband expansion and broadband infrastructure. And it seems like everybody finally gets how important this is for competitiveness and, and just better delivery of social services. With our municipal channels, it's a slow decision process um, and, and it's proving to them that there's the, the value that they're going to see in, in, the, in the applications. Here in Las Vegas, have partnered with Clark County School District and they're one of the more thoughtful, forward-looking school districts in the country. And so we're grateful to be, to be working with them to be implementing the system and it's still early days, but we already have students online and it's live and it's working and it's, it's proven itself and we're excited about watching it expand and getting more kids online. So, so primarily we've, we focused on the 436Q as the eNode B and the IDO6 for the indoor CPE. And with our initial use case of remote learning, uh, the indoor CPE has been the way to go for, for the constituents, but for the students, because of the ease of use. That's one of the great things about working with Bicel is the portfolio is really simple to understand. Um, it was really easy for us. We didn't have a lot of mix and matching. Um, we used a Nova 436Q. Um, that's what actually allowed us to transmit the wireless signal into students' homes. Um, and then we used the Atom modem. Basically, I consider it the same thing as a cable modem, but this is in the wireless world. Um, allowed the student um, basically no configuration, so zero configuration at the endpoint. It's the quality of the components, um, it's the quality of the installation and the technology. When we configure the network on the back end, we, we provide an internet connection pipe. However, that go, we networked it to where it goes directly to the school district. So in partnership with the school district, once they're on our network, they're piped directly into the school district. So it's not used for streaming their television service and playing their video games. It specifically connects them directly to their schooling so that we can make sure that the CPEs we give out are being used for educational purposes. I, I, I know that when we were looking for gear, we actually had the gear from other vendors installed and it just wasn't getting the job done. And we began looking around saying, okay, we need a better solution. We found buy cells and voila, you guys, their gear's been fabulous and it really helped to, to bring the network together here in Las Vegas. Not only does buy cells do uh, 5G, private LTE and other types of systems, but the compatibility to do different types of technology um, through different product sets, it's all within the same family. But Las Vegas is so much more than just wireless and technology. We're really trying to build an ecosystem here where you can live here, work here, play here. Um, and really we're trying to excite through our partnership with Bicells and through all the technology initiatives we undertake. What we're really trying to do is set Las Vegas up for the future where we can really build some interactive capabilities for businesses um, throughout the U.S. Um, to relocate to Las Vegas, to really take an opportunity to come here. Um, and we're gonna have the, so not only is your business gonna prosper here just because of the location, but it's gonna prosper because we're gonna have the technology infrastructure that those businesses are gonna need well into the future. One of the things that we would want people to know is that we are an end-to-end -end solutions provider. So we'll operate it and we'll manage it and we'll, we'll do the upgrade cycle and we'll make sure everything's working. We can provide a complete solution for you and we'll help you to understand how it works and why it works and why it makes sense. Um, we're bringing in other partners. We're working with uh, the city of North Las Vegas to the north of us. Um, we're working with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. We're working with a lot of other agencies to really leverage our network, share our information, um, and share the capabilities. Um, again, CBRS is still not widely known um, in the technology field, so everything we can do to help get the rest of the community involved um, and really leveraging this network, not just to help our governmental agencies, but to help our local businesses, to help our students. Um, again, at the end of the day, it's building community to make life better, and BuySales is part of that building process to make our community better. Thank you.